Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your monthly mermaid type tarot reading. I'm going to be using my own deck Woo. and my own artwork featuring here. I love, um, I love so many tarot cards. I have a lot of different tarot cards from different people. And, um, but I feature my own work during these readings because I like for you to see all of the details so that you can check out the colors, the patterns, um, and the different qualities in the images to see if there's something that resonates or has an association that's personal for you that I can't pick up on because this, this reading is just general. And if you're finding that nothing is resonating in this reading, you might want to go back to the beginning, try picking a different one using the oracle or your moon sign, rising sign, Venus sign, something that fits better for you. All right, this message is for Scorpio for the month of February 2021. All the readings are general. So in the sense that they're timeless, um, any message can possibly come out. Whenever you hear it, it's perfect for you. If it doesn't make sense to you, leave it be. Don't make it fit. Okay, so you've got four of wands on the bottom of the deck. You have the emperor, which has appeared already, which means you might be interested in the collective. The seven of cups and the hermit. Wow, just as a side note, I happen to particularly like this collection of cards. I think it's a pretty collection of cards. Um, they're some of my favorite images. I like the number nine. It's like a king and queen. And then I like the four of wands, this capital letter D. I like the colors. The seven of cups is one of my favorite photographs. It's like a whole family kind of like hanging out. And then the emperor. The emperor is not one of my favorite cards, to be totally honest. But it's because people get confused about whether it's a nine or a four because of the way that it's drawn. So it's the letter four, but it could also be a P. I mean, that's one of the things about these letters is that they can be one thing or another. And if you think about it, they kind of look kind of similar. So it could be a nine or a four, or if you turn it, it could be like a, a B or a D or a musical note kind of matters what seems relevant to you. So in this reading, I'm asking you to do a little bit of your own investigative work in your own mind to see what your associations are with these letters. And then I go through and do my associations and readings, which hopefully will resonate with you. So this four of wands up at the top, this is often um, referred to as the marriage card. It's about stability and structure but it's also the wands, which are fiery passion. So I think when you have stability and passion together, oftentimes that leads to marriage type energy. And then you have the emperor. The emperor is four as well, obviously very grounding. And the emperor is associated with the astrological sign of Aries, which is fire. So there's some similarities in these cards between the four of wands and the emperor, which is just kind of nice to see in a reading. Then you've got the Seven of Cups. That's like confusion. Too many options, especially in regards to your heart and your feeling. And then you have the Hermit. The Hermit's about going inward and seeing your inner light and spending time like in your she shed or something like that in your man cave, you know? So there's a bit of contradictory energy here. So it could be one way to read this is a message that you're feeling a bit pulled apart, that you're moving towards stability, you're moving toward building something that is um, grounded and passionate, and that's really wonderful, but it's causing a lot of mixed emotions that you don't, that, that's um, creating a sense of confusion, and that's making you want to go inward 
and spend some time by yourself to kind of like figure those energies out, that hermit mode. Um, and because like I was saying, there's definitely some mirroring between the nine and the four where there's a sense of confusion regarding that. I think the extra message for you, Scorpio, is just to, to be able to discern the difference um, between when you're feeling like you're in emperor mode and you want to be out front and establishing things and when you're feeling a little bit more in hermit mode and you want to go within. So as you move forward and establishing your um, environment, you know, knowing that you are potentially going to be feeling mixed emotions, you can set things up ahead of time because you have this, this reading now and this message, um, you can set things up ahead of time so that you can be in one place or the other so that depending on how you're feeling as you check in with yourself, you can um, make sure that you support yourself in both of those needs by providing opportunities to establish and create your empire and also providing space for you to kind of go inward and um, figure things out on your own because you will most likely be doing both in the coming month. So um, I hope this, this uh, I hope this reading has resonated with you. If you have any comments or positive things to add in the comments down below, you might help someone else who is also interested in this particular reading. And I'm always trying to create a support community. If you have any feedback for me, it's always appreciated. Thank you so much for listening. The general reading is next. It's at the end of each one. And I hope to see you next time. Have a great February. Bye. The collective reading for the zodiac signs in February is in this big tarot spread. Happy birthday to the Aquarius and Pisces out there. The sun is shining on you and your collective multidimensional personalities in this month's reading. It's likely we'll all feel out of body and perhaps even suffer a bit during this month. You might find yourself outside in the cold, forgotten, or even want to isolate yourself from other people. People who are naturally grounded and down to earth will have a better time navigating the far out there vibes. All of us will benefit from spending time in nature and noticing the abundance of wild kingdoms. In feeling our connection to the greater web of life and Earth's past, we can bring to life fond memories. Expect plenty of opportunities to demonstrate or observe people doing good works. This month promises to inspire us all into action and to charge ahead, so remember to balance that momentum with rest and reflection time.